Hey everybody and welcome to the video. So what we're doing today, here I have next to me is my 2019 Honda CB1000R Neo Caf Racer. Bit of a mouthful, but obviously if you're watching this video specifically, it's probably because you have one of these bikes and you are looking to do it yourself. So um, I've had it from new, it's done about 3000 miles now. I haven't actually done an oil filter change on it um, since 400 miles when it was the braking one because I hadn't used it for a, literally the whole of lockdown but now that's done I'm going to just do an oil and filter change on it um, because I'm going to be going doing a long trip out to Burnley with my brother who's just got his first big bike so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through how uh, to change the oil yourself and um, and then go from there really so as I say yeah this is my one I've got the um, R edition so we've got the quick shifter up and down and we've obviously got the seat can on the back We've got the Lextech exhaust system, which we upgraded straight away because the original one is, in my opinion, rubbish. So we've upgraded that straight away. That's the first thing we did like four years ago. But um, yeah, so we're here to do uh, the oil and filter change. So first thing that we need to do is we need to run the bike and get it hot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start the bike up so you can hear it roar. And then I'm gonna cut back in a few minutes once it's all hot. So. Right, there we go. It's been running like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. Just uh, enough time for me to put my number plate on the back because it fell off on my last ride out. So, so it's up at about 85 degrees C. The fan hadn't cut in. I could have probably left it a little bit longer, but it's gonna be warm enough to do what I need to do. So now that the bike is really warm, we need to obviously remove the sump bung uh, and start draining out the oil. So let's move into stage two. So before we get into stage two, let's quickly discuss what we're putting in. So I've got Silkeline Pro 4 10W30. This is the oil that I'm gonna be sticking in. Um, it reads, it should be three and a half liters, three liters, three and a half liters in between the two of them. So I've got four liters and we're gonna be using a high flow filtero <laughs> racing filter. All, uh, all purchased from Moto Edit in Huntingdon, thanks to Guy, sort me out for that. Um, right, so now that's that. We need, as I said, we need ourselves a 17 mil spanner to loosen off the um, oil draining bung and release the oil. So, my oil catcher won't fit under it, as I read somewhere else. So let's try and find a smaller one. That one. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Nice little washing up bowl there. Right, so what I'll do is I'm going to bring you down. So here we have the bike, the engine. Here we have the filter. Here we have the filter. Here we have the uh, drainer. And under here. This is the uh, drain bung, so it's situated in between the two exhaust pipes on the underneath of the engine. Okay, that's where we drain it out from. This is the filter housing, as I said. There's a, a I think that's a 10 mil or an 8 mil retainer. That's for the cap, and then underneath that is the filter itself. Right, so here we are. This literally just about fits underneath it. These exhausts are red hot. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack it off and then try and loosen it from that point of view, right? So, there we go. Little crack there. I went in, I think you can get these things here. This, yeah, is a, a sump bung undoer, okay? It's got a magnet on one end and what you do is you spin the end of it and then it'll, and then it'll go on. It's one of them things of like, I bought it and used it once. It was like seven pounds. So, yes, perfect, it's on. This is exactly what you need it for. And then you twist it. Like that, this is, this is, this is the tool. And then, yeah, oh, there it goes. It's all coming out now. But look at that, look. We still have got, we have still got it all attached onto here. 
Beautiful. So now we'll let that all drain out. So obviously it's best to put your bike on a centre stand if you have one. Where this is a single swing arm, it doesn't go up very well onto, well, it doesn't go on a, on a conventional uh, jack, like a racing stand. So um, what I've done is obviously I've just centred it and then put a block of wood underneath it the other side uh, to make it basically level. So I thought that was a good idea. All right, so this is draining out. So whilst that's draining out, we'll go and get ourselves a, a 10 or an eight mil. All right, eight mil. There's, what's that, two? One there, one there. All right, so there's one up top and one below. So crack that, so open that tight. And then we'll crack one underneath. There we go, one. So it's a good bike, I'm very happy with the bike, you know. It's coming up to go back to Honda in uh, like four months and I'm working out whether to keep it and buy it out or just give it back. We'll work it out. Right, there we go, take these two off. There's our little cover housing that protects the filter. There's our filter official Honda filter but now it's not in warranty anymore we don't have to worry about using a Honda one right so here we go we're going to use our special tool which you don't need to do this but this makes it easier uh, and cleaner and then we'll pop it pop it back in and then obviously it just pops off when it gets tight enough here we go lovely jubbly and then now we get the filter off so you can either get the caps to go on it or you can obviously use a, a filter housing or even some pipe grips uh, quite good to get them off so here is the array of things i would usually use so these are like actual filter clamps here they're good for really stubborn ones i actually use these a lot and then obviously you've got this which is like a three-pronged claw which spreads and opens and then you can pop it over and then undo it but we'll go with the old trusty Oh yeah, beautiful. Do not lift here. Well, I'm not, not going to do that, am I? Right, a little bit of oil on the exhaust. It's okay. Now in cars, I don't really fill the oil filters before I put them on. I just put a filter back on. But I was told to like fill the filter. So we'll, uh, we'll do as we're told. We will fill the filter. Ow, it's hot. Always good to do is when you get your bits, just to check. So this one comes with a handy nut on the bottom so you can just get a socket, put that on there and then do it up. It's always good to get a bit of grease, grease the filter just around the uh, rubber O-ring. Make sure there's no O-ring attached on there because that can stick on there. And then what, I'll do, I suppose I can't really fill it, I can fill it a bit. Because obviously when I tip it, it's going to start coming undone, isn't it? We'll fill it a bit. Oh, it's red. I did not know it was going to be red. Maybe it was red when it, I don't know. Right, well anyway. All right, ready, steady. There we go, beautiful. Bit of oil on my hands, it's okay. Give it a little nip. Okay, beautiful, and we'll put the cover back on. There we go. Put it down. There we go. Right, so now we've done that, what we need to do is obviously fill it up. So, take out our filler, get a little funnel. Funnel's always good. So you need to get yourself a funnel. Pop your funnel in there. And then fill away. So down the bottom here, 
you've got your window, which is obviously the shifter window. It's just in the bottom there, right in line with the filter. Um, and that's obviously your indication of how things are full or not. So let's fill away. One litre. Two litres. That's three litres. Right, so I put three litres in and it's at the top of the um, mark, there's a mark at the bottom which is obviously the lowest and there's a mark at the top of the window which is top. So we have put three litres in and it's saying that it's full. So now I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start it up, see how it goes. Right, so I start it up and I've lost half a litre. Well, the window is emptied. This tells me I need to put a bit more in. There we go, perfect. Right guys, so that is how you replace your oil and filter on a Honda CB1000R Neo Cafe Racer 2019. Really simple, really easy, anyone can do it at home. Make sure that you buy the good quality oil though, all right? Don't go out and buy cheap crappy oil because it's cheap you know because you want to save some money that's the stuff that makes the, it, the engines wear quicker so right oil right filter job done thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one